Howdy, hey, I hope you're having a good day. I'm Hesse Knight, and welcome back to the Vizzy Variety Fact Packed series. <laughs> Why didn't I name it something so complicated to say? Before I get started talking about redesigns in the meetup theater, I do want to address the fact that I've been gone for three months. Uh, <laughs> I'll be making a video addressing that in the future of the channel. Just know that this series is not going to end. It's just going to take longer to come out. Now, while I was gone, we had three character redesigns released. Husk, Nifty, and Serpent. They all look largely the same as they did in the pilot, but more angular and simplified. Biggest changes on Husk are his ears are playing cards, not pink stripes, and his wings have been simplified to only containing dots in lines rather than card suits. He's also wearing a neat set of suspenders, but we can't see his lower half, so I can neither confirm nor deny the fact he's wearing pants. Nifty's key differences are the fact that her eye has less shading, or at least it's less noticeable, and she went from a yellow skin tone to a whole white one. As well as the fact she was wearing what looks like a hotel uniform similar to Charlie or Baggies, rather than her 50s style dress. It's still more 50s style, but the colors more closely match that of Charlie and Baggies. Her promo also can another character who was later revealed to be named Kiki, and that character is implied to be the key to the hotel. I imagine some magic fuckery with that Alistair happened. Finally, we've got Sir Penn, who I did not realize was a double pun until my partner mentioned it. Because he's a serpent, and he's pretentious. Serpentious. Anyways, other than his IH eye chest, chest eye being moved up to his bow tie and getting a neat set of goggles on his hat. He's overall thicker looking and looks more stylized and more like a villain, even though we all know the dorky truth. On to my usual rules and a disclaimer. These facts are years old at this point and are subject to change once the series actually airs. This series was originally made so I could just have fun with the facts and figure out editing styles. Well, how to edit. And practice with different styles. And they were quicker for me to churn out every week than like an animation. Also note, I only include what Vivs herself either states, agrees with, or has a notable reaction to as canon or worth mentioning. Any streams used in the video will be linked in the description below along with the spreadsheet and my Twitter. If you have a fact that is not in a stream and not already on my spreadsheet, please link it below or message me on Twitter and I will credit you in a future video. To message me, you can either DM me or just at me. Today I'm going over the second official Pop stream, which starts with a list of what languages the characters can speak. Vag and Husk both speak Spanish. Husk and Angel both speak Italian. Husk can also speak Russian, Mandarin, and German. Nifty speaks Japanese. Alistair can speak French, and Charlie can speak any demonic language. Speaking of Charlie, she's shorter than Alistair. Meanwhile, Vaggie is stayed to be around five four five five four five foot four or five foot six. Husk is probably part Russian, originally from Vegas, while Angel's from New York. Serpent actually doesn't have a family, but he does want one. Someone helped him create the Egg Boys, though. Alright, who's ready for a wall of facts on our asexual cannibal deer? Alistair Wood slash has eaten other deer demons. He also canonically has bad breath. And Viv even makes note of she wonders why so many people want to kiss him. He hangs out with Misty a lot because he finds her entertaining, much like he finds Charlie, and by extension her dreams, funny. He consider fe considers females in hell to be smarter than the men, so he prefers to hang out with them. On this note, he finds most men to be brutes. Hell, no pun intended. He even thinks Angel and Husk are both one note. Viv has also decided to leave whether or not the fact he has a tail ambiguous for now. At least in the stream she says she wanted to leave it up to the fans, but again, good change once the series comes out. I'm voting for tail. 
Though he values both, he prefers manners over comedy and is comfortable in his masculinity. He wouldn't dab, nor does he likely know how to. Even if he did, he wouldn't dab. He loves to cook and is a big foodie. Speaking of food, Nifty can cook, and she is the hotel's cook. Cherry and Vaggy are most likely the best dancers. And Charlie can tap dance. Alster can also dance, but probably isn't the best at it. Tom's mask is his face. Vaggy's music tastes include punk. Melina, I've never had to pronounce her name out loud. Melina Martinez, 80s bands, as well as raggaeton music? Not sure what that is. I'll have to Google it later. Angel got into the sex work early on so he could leave the mob. And he does not do feet stuff. In general, hellborn demons age differently than sinners. Arachnus is the oldest and shortest of his siblings. If you don't know, that includes Angel and Molly. Aww, he's like my sister. Viv confirmed Alistair is the worst person in the pilot to mess with. Now, I don't know if this includes just the speaking rules, or if this includes everybody presented in the pilot. Rosie is apparently capable, articulate, and friendly. Articulate is a word that does not describe me, obviously. I think that will do it for me today. We've got about six to seven videos left to cover before I finish this series. Again, if you have any corrections or facts I have not covered and aren't already in my spreadsheet, you can message me on Twitter or link down below and I will credit you in a future video. I hope you all enjoyed this and I'm glad to be back.